hello everyone and welcome back to my channel in today's video we will be working on credit card data this data set is imported from uci machine learning repository you can go to this link and download the data also uh, as we import the data there are multiple confusion which can be occurred so for that you can explore this data or you can go to this link and find out which attribute contains what information so let's first begin by importing the library we will import the necessary libraries and that are numpy and pandas and then we will read the csv using dot read csv of pandas function remember this data set ends with dot data but this file can easily be read with read csv function of pandas so as we read we tend to get some uh, confusion about what type of columns it contains but don't worry there is a parameter of reads uh, of pandas read csv uh, that will hide these uh, these header and that will uh, that will mark each column with its own identity let's try it out in this we read the csv we pass the data and then we make the parameter header is equal to none which exclude this data which exclude this thing and move it to the first row and then mark it as zero column first column second column and so on till 15 column so as we see there are 16 columns present in this data set and perhaps in real life scenario these information can be uh, confidential so it's a good idea to use these type of column names 0 1 2 3 or a b c d so this was the approach one and this is the second approach in which you can uh, pass your actual header names there is a parameter in dot read csv in which you can pass your header name custom header names into the names parameter and it will replace the default 0 1 2 3 with a b c d as i have given you can update that as well and you can find all the information of all columns in this article as you can uh, if you go to this article it will show you all the 15 columns and their uh, values what are these values and what information this column contains so moving on in this video we'll focus on how to read this data that's what we did and then we will play, uh, clean the data replace the null values and then we will build a simple model for this credit card application so let's jump to now eda uh, in this we will first first see uh, what are the if there are null values or not there are null not no null values but as we go forward there are uh, multiple nan values in this data set we will see later but for now let's print the information here and it will through this we will get the idea that there are 619 uh, rows in this data set and it had 50 uh, 16 columns and only four are float or integer or numerical columns the rest of the 12 columns are object or categorical columns so if we print dot describe with this data frame we will get to know only four columns mean standard deviation 25 percentile 75 percentile minimum and maximum value because only four columns are numerical columns so now we need to find what are the unique values because as i mentioned earlier that there are null values in it so null values can be in different forms it can be in question mark it can be in np dot nan it can be as null it can be as nan so here we will find out what type of uh, null values present in this data set so as we explore all the object columns uh, 
um, this code will produce all the unique values in each column and as we see there are question marks present in these object columns so to do that we first need to replace these question marks with np.nand so that when we use the function is null dot sum we will get the each column with their specific count of null values so for handling null values we will run this thing and then we will find out what are the null values in this call in this data frame so as you can see there are multiple columns now showing null values one two three four five six seven seven columns contain null values so don't worry we will fix these uh, null values and replace these values with a specific uh, approach and using the specific approach and what are these approach let's find out so here i am creating two different functions one is fixing using mean and one is fixing mode why I'm doing that because for numerical columns I want to replace those values with a mean and then for all the object columns I need to replace the values with the mode of the mode of that column so here it's pretty much straightforward I am going into this function fixing missing mean and replace first converting the object column into numeric if the column is object and then printing the column with their mean just for understanding purpose and then using the fill now function I am replacing all the null values with the mean of that column you can use median you can use mode but normally the approach is mean and for categorical it's mode same goes same approach used in this function fix missing mode here I am passing two parameters like uh, data frame column name and then replacing all the column null values using fill now of pandas function and replacing all the values with the mode of that column in place will make sure that it will replace all the values in the original data frame so run it and then just making sure to save all the data i am creating a copy and then passing for each of these column name columns one by one and passing it to the specific function so for these i for these column for these five columns i'm using the mode function and for these two columns i'm calling the mean function so it will just show it's just showing that what is the column and what is the mode and what is the column name and what is the mean and now if we pr print the is null dot sum we don't have any null values because all the null values have been catered and resolved and replaced successfully now we can go towards model building part in this model phase remember whenever you are trying to create a model in python you need to replace the data and you need to focus on the features and the target variable so to do that you will first replace all the features and the target variable the target variable is the last column which have values like mm, these plus 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 minus which means that plus denotes the positive sign and minus shows the negative sign as you see approved like the loan rejected or approved that column actually uh, contains that formation using the output below we can see that the outcomes value in approved are plus and minus for whether the credit card has been granted or not so this is the label or target value target variable for us so we will exclude this from the original data frame and we will save it in a new variable so here i am saving this data frame column values with uh, inside y and then all the other columns 
after dropping the 15 uh, index column I am saving all the co other columns into features and then just printing the head of that function to just make sure that it's the 15th column excluded from features data frame. Now moving forward we need to convert whenever we want to build a model in Python or in data analysis data science projects we need to convert the categorical variable to numerical variable or to numerical values to find out its pattern and to find out the more information about our data set so to do that we can try multiple functions of sklearn like label by uh, label encoder one hot encoding or ordinal encoder so for this case i am using from sklearn preprocessing i am importing ordinal encoder and i am passing all the object columns inside this to just make sure that it will replace all the object columns and to convert that into numerical columns so after running this set of code it will convert all the numerical columns like these three four five six three four five six to numerical values you can go and check the information about all the details about ordinal encoder and other encoder types you can play around with it but for now i am just using ordinal encoder after that i am just finding out the value count of our predictor and we have got minus which is not granted credit card to 383 customers and plus means that the credit card granted to 307 customers now we will use another sklearn function called train test split which will make sure that the data set is split into train and test data so that the model is trained on the train setup or uh, train data set and the test data set can be used for model prediction part to find the accuracy and the performance of our model so train test split actually gets the x which is our features the y which is our predictor variable the test size which can be vary between 0.25 which means that 75 percent data will go into the data training set so that the model will understand the data better and the remaining data set will go to the test set so that we can test the performance and find out the performance of our model so for this case i am keeping it 0.25 which means give the 0.25 percent data to test data and give the 75 percent of the data to the test oh sorry train uh train data set so we can also check the shape of the all these of all these written sets so as we see 517 samples are there in the training set same goes for y train and in the test set we have 173 and 173 and 15 columns because one column is uh, is our predictor variable now comes to the model development part so for that we need to make sure that all these variables are in the same range so for that so to convert all the variables and to keep it on the same scale so that the model will learn better we are using min max scalar so it will make sure that all the feature values are in the range of 0 and 1 so this part of the code will convert all the values into same range so as we print it out it will make sure that all the values are in between 1 and 0 because that's what we define in the parameter range of min max scalar we can also use other scalar types but for now we are just using min max scalar and now we are in a good shape to pass this updated data set and updated test set into the model so that the model will learn first and then on the prediction set we'll use the test set so for the model development part uh, we are using logistic regression 
and passing in to the scaled X train and Y train. The model is fitted and now it's time to predict. So we get the test accuracy of 0.86 and the train accuracy as 0.85, which means that our, our model performed well and we are getting a decent confusion matrix of true negative, false negative, false positive and true positive. But the idea of this video is not to create a successful model but to show you how you can clean the data, how you can transform the uh, data into its suitable form so that the model can easily be built out. And we saw that we first use, we first replace all the NAND uh, question mark values with NP.NAN, we then handle all the NAND values we then split the data set we then convert all the categorical variable into numerical uh, values and then we make sure that all the values are on the same scale and then we simply build the model which is just a few lines of code and then we just predict and find out the performance of the model so i hope you enjoy today's video if you have any queries do let me know until next time Take care, goodbye.